Hello and welcome. Thank you for viewing this educational segment presented by Buying Behavior Metrics. I'm your host, Martin Smith, author of The New Exhibitor and The New Lean Six Sigma Orange Belt for Exhibitors. These and other exhibiting tools are available on our website at bbmgo.com. Please go to the site and make use of the tools. You will find them to be extremely valuable in implementing and improving your exhibiting and event purchase experience. Welcome. In this lesson, I'll introduce another tool that is relevant to the defined phase of the DMAIC process. This is the SIPOC. So let's get started. Another useful tool to use during the process mapping activity is to make a chart that lists some of the key elements which will be needed for definition of each process step. This tool is referred to as a SIPOC. The SIPOC acronym stands for Suppliers, Inputs, Process, Outputs, and Customers. To better explain how to create a SIPOC, let's go back to our example from our previous process mapping lesson where we had an exhibitor who was trying to do an awareness program where they were passing out a cookie and brochure packet, having attendees go to a presentation, and then swiping leads for them. The SIPOC starts by simply taking the specific process step and listing the suppliers or surface providers who are needed for the step in a column. As you can see in this example, the suppliers are the baker, the printer, and the media company who will do the presentation. In the next column, list the inputs provided by the supplier. In this case, you can see it's the cookie, the paper copy brochure, and of course the content for both the brochure and the presentation. This next column is simply the process step, which is why it's listed in a box. In this example, it's giving away a free sample of the cookie and brochure after the live presentation and a lead swipe. The next column lists the outputs from this activity. In this case, it's a sample brochure delivered with a cookie and a presentation. Finally, the last column lists the customer, which in this case is the target attendee. The SIPOC elements can now be used to define the process steps further. It's a standing record of what inputs, processes, outputs, etc. are relevant to specific customers and or target attendees. It can help to identify activities or specific suppliers which might be combined or brought in-house to reduce cost or drive efficiencies. With the SIPOC in hand, the steps of the process are put into a map using shapes and verbs. Using verbs helps people to see that there is effort and work required for each process step. In addition, the factors, the X's if you will, or measurements, and the resultants, the little Y's and big Y's, are noted on the chart and the process map is ready for evaluation. There are standardized symbols that are used for process maps in SIPOCs. For example, process steps are typically in rectangular boxes, diamonds are used if there's a decision point, and circles or ovals are used as inputs or endpoints. In order to prevent the scope, of a project from creeping, it helps to list the steps at the level of detail the work is focused on. This will create boundaries and prevent the organization from overstretching the resources or from being disappointed with the results. Think of the process in terms of what work will be done and what will be measured. Don't forget to capture a process in its as-is state, not how it could be or how you wish it was. This is very important when it comes to using later tools, especially experimenting. Process management means experimenting with factors that drive a satisfactory purchase experience. It means measuring the steps and analyzing the effects on a target attendee. With process management, the employee, the business, and especially the attendee wins. You may be up against decades of tribal knowledge and cultural brainwashing, which will make change difficult for some to accept. But when properly implemented through Lean Six Sigma methodology and tools of the DMAIC, change will happen. To summarize, here are the steps to starting a process map activity during the defined phase along with a SIPOC. In later phases, you'll analyze the metrics to make improvements, eliminate waste and non-value added steps, and optimize the ROI of the system. But for now, take pride in the fact that you have mapped the current state process. Congratulations on completing this lesson. As always, examples of this tool are available on the website, so please take advantage of that. And don't forget to update your other documents, your QMAPs, migration plans, and your key learnings. In conclusion, allow me to thank you for your time in reviewing this material and for your interest in buying behavior metrics. 
it is our sincere desire to provide valuable offerings to help exhibitors create worthwhile purchase experiences and ultimately maximize their ROI. Please go to our website and explore all the online tools available at bbmgo.com. Thank you.